Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and today we are going to look at how to add a link that allows you to jump down the page. So rather than take you to a different page, this link will just jump you down to a different section of your page. So for example, I've set up a uh, template page here that says Our Services. You scroll down and it has you know, two links that will jump you down to their section of the page. So this is a good idea if you have, you know, let's say a bunch of services um, and you want them to be able to quickly get to each service without having to scroll through a bunch of information. Um, so they could click on service one and it will quickly scroll them to the service one section of the page. Or they could click on service two and it will scroll them to the service two part of the page. So in order for this to work, you need to first go to pages and go to the page that you are trying to change. And you want to make sure you add in some sort of button or link or something like that. So you'll notice here, I've just added in two buttons that say, you know, service one, service two. Obviously you would name, actually put the name of the service here um, so they know which one to click. Okay. Then you will go to wherever you want it to go to. So we're going to go to service one, click edit, and I'm going to add in an anchor. So what that means is I'm going to anchor or add in some code that when I click the button, it will jump to that anchor. So this is where you want the screen to actually jump to. So I want it to jump to the front of service one. I'm going to click here and I'm going to add in a code block that looks like this. In the code block, you're going to paste the following code. You want this, the name of this, to be whatever is going to represent the section it's jumping to. Make it something you can replicate because you're going to have to put that into the button. So I'm going to copy and paste this into this button. So make sure it's something that makes sense and something you can replicate. So in this case, I've just named it Service 1. Click Apply. Save. Let's scroll down to service two. This is where I want that next anchor to be and I'm going to repeat the same thing. So click add a code block, copy and paste the code, and this time I'm going to name it service two or whatever you want it to name in that section. Okay, click apply. Once you have all of your anchors, Go up to where you have your buttons, click edit, and in the URL section you're going to put a hashtag and then whatever you named that ID. So I have service1, okay, it can't have any spaces, okay, so instead of a space I have a little dash, and you do not want to select for it to open in a new window. Do the same thing on service two. Hashtag service two. Apply. Save. And now when I click on service one, it'll jump me to the service one section of the page. If I click on service two, it'll jump me to the service two section of the page. And that's just a great way to have them flow through your website a little bit nicer so you don't have to scroll through, especially if you know service one has a whole bunch of different sections. It helps them scroll a little bit faster to the service that will best suit them, meaning they'll stay on your website longer um, and it'll just make it a little bit of an easier user experience. 